Welcome to another SQL tutorial. Today I am going to show you something tricky about statistics. And like many other tutorials, this one is also based on a question that I saw in one of the forums. Let's straight away jump into action. In AdventureWorks 2016 database, we have this transactions table. I've written a select statement which is going to fetch data from the transactions table, group by actual cost, one of the attributes, and order by. The transactions table has millions of rows, probably more than 30 million. Let's go and execute this. Note that actual execution plan is turned on. Let's go and execute. Now I'm going to pause the video and come back because the execution might take about two minutes. So here I go and pause it and I'm going to back after the execution. Okay, the execution is done and I'm back. Look at this and of course it's a large table so execution took a while. We have about 18 million records being returned there. You can see that and total execution was about 1 minute 49 seconds. So it took about 2 minutes or so. Well, it's not about the number of rows that is being returned or the total execution time but the focus here is on statistics and cardinality estimation. And I've told you this is a large table and we are aggregating and we are ordering as well. Let's jump over to the execution plan now. Let's not even look into the execution plan iterators. I know you will immediately notice the sort operator, the warnings out there and there is hash match, etc. Let's stick to the cardinality estimation and statistics thing. So if I take the cursor over somewhere um, either between compute scalar or the sort operator on the arrows or here you will observe the estimations here actual number of rows are about 18 million but estimation was about 370k now when there is a huge difference between the number of rows that were estimated by the optimizer versus the actual number of rows that were returned of course the first thing that comes to our mind is whether statistics are up to date or not because you know the optimizer is heavily dependent on statistics for cardinality estimation and here the estimations are way off so let's see if we can update the stats and get better estimations so what i'm going to do now is scroll down and just fire a simple update statistics on dbo transactions Let's go and execute and away, again I will pause the recording because stats update on a large table might take time and I will come back again after update. So let's go and execute this and pause the recording. Alright, this is done and this was actually very quick. So you can see command completed successfully. This was the update that we fired, the stats update. Let's go and execute this again and again I have to pause the recording because this is again going to take some time but this will be worth your time so let's go and execute this once more and I'm going to pause the recording all right the execution is done so just a quick recap we executed the query we saw that cardinality estimation was poor we went ahead and updated the statistics on the transactions table and we have executed the query again. Take a look at the status bar and you will observe that this time execution has taken slightly less, lesser time like 1 minute 37 seconds but that's not a big deal. Now let's jump over to the execution plan and take the cursor over the arrows here and you will observe that the estimations are exactly the same what it was before which is actual number of rows returned were about 18 million and estimations are about 370k which means the update stats did not have any impact on estimations I mean, we were hoping that we would get better estimates but that did not happen so of course something is going wrong here something is tricky which is the whole purpose of this video so let's scroll down a bit there are some notes here which you can uh, obviously see uh, when you download the resources and this SQL file. Now I want to go and look into the statistics objects that are there with this table. So I'm going to use the system stored procedure SP help stats. Let's go and execute this and I'm going to turn off the actual execution plan for a while. And so we have this one stats object. Uh, this is automatically created and you can see this WA prefix Washington and whatnot. And this is for the fourth column and you have the hexadecimal value. So what I have done here is I want to see the 
metadata, the details behind this statistics object. And we have a command DVCC show statistics, punch in the name of the table and the stats object. Let's go and execute this and you will get finer details about this statistics object. Now the first thing that you will observe, of course there's histogram, density factor and whatnot, but let's keep our focus on the important info here, which is the number of rows sampled. So you can see that this table has about 31 million rows, but the number of rows that were sampled were only 419k, which means of course, automatically when SQL Server created statistics, SQL decided to take a percentage of the total number of rows and do the sampling, which means it was not really reading each and every data value. And that is one of the reasons why based on this sampling, the histogram that gets prepared is not 100% accurate. So quick summary again, the stats were created automatically, right? Uh, which you can figure out by looking at the name of the stats object itself. Um, in another world, you know that when you create indexes, stats automatically get created by the virtue of indexes. We are not talking about that right now. We're just talking about executing a query and you have this particular attribute being used in your select statement and SQL Server creates statistics automatically. For a large table like this one, transactions table, like 30 plus million rows, uh, it does a sampling because by default, it's not going to go and read each and every data value, which is like reading 30 million data items. So it does a sampling and based on this sampling, the histogram uh, is not 100% accurate. And that's why you get this cardinality estimation, which is off the track. Now let's go one level deeper. If you go and look into the data distribution of this particular attribute, which attribute are we talking about? Yes, the actual cost here. Um, the data is highly skewed, which means that the lot of different variety of data items in this particular uh, attribute, in this particular column, which means they're very dissimilar in nature. Had they been very similar in nature, the data values, we probably could have got better estimations even with the sampling. But because it is highly skewed, we are not getting good estimations. So what's the solution? Well, the solution is if you have figured this out that you're dealing with a large table and data distribution is highly skewed. And when you look at the statistics data, you can clearly see that sampling was done and you think you can get better estimations. Give this a try, which is updating these statistics with full scan. That's the attribute. So, you know, by default, we ran update statistics. We just did only this much, which was sampling. Now we say with full scan, let's go and execute this. Now we are forcing SQL Server to read each and every data values that's there in this particular table, the attribute actual cost. Should I pause the recording? Because now this is going to take a little longer. Okay. Let's pause this and I am going to come back once the update stats is done with full scan. All right, the update stats is done. It took about a minute, like 50 seconds or so. And now the final piece of the demo is this is update statistics with full scan. So let's go back to the query and run this once more. Okay, which is turn on actual execution plan and let's go and execute. At least you don't have to wait because I'm pausing the recording, but I will have to wait. So this is again going to take over a minute. So let's go and rec uh, pause the recording and I'm going to come back again. And this time we are going to hope that we get better estimations. Let's see. All right, the execution is done and let's jump over to the execution plan as we always wanted to and take the cursor over the arrow here and you will notice that you get much better estimations, nearly perfect. Actual number of rows 18 million and estimations are also 18 million. Well, so what's the summary? The summary is that if you see that estimations are way off the track 
and you have updated statistics also and still it's not really solving the problem you got to go and look into the statistics metadata and see the actual number of rows i mean the total number of rows in the table versus sampling and it could be a possible scenario where you're dealing with a large table and sql server by default has sampled the data and that is where you have to explicitly do the full scan update statistics with full scan and that might solve the problem hope you like the video see you soon in another tutorial happy sql if you like the content give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos most importantly visit sqlmaestros.com there's a lot of sql learning resources out there video courses master classes lab kits ebooks blogs hands on labs and a lot more follow us on twitter at the rate sql maestros and myself a underscore bunsel last but not the least do subscribe to our newsletters see you soon in another video goodbye